I'm Lisa Van Dusen and I moved to Palo Alto in 1985. The first night though that I spent in California was actually in Palo Alto in 1977 and I was visiting a friend who was going to graduate school at Stanford and I remember we came um, into the Bay Area across the Dumbarton Bridge, which was a great disappointment to the person who I came with because he was waiting for this dramatic entrance over the Golden Gate Bridge and he just looked at me and said, like, this? Like, we came over this bridge? <laughs> so anyway, it wasn't till some years later that I, that I ended up in Palo Alto working in 1983 and living in 1985 um, and that was because of cable co-op which um, I remember going to the, f the first meeting I went to, I actually read um, a classified ad in the Palo Alto Weekly about um, the cable co-op seeking people to help out and I went to the meeting at the old co-op um, on California Avenue where they were people, odd collection of people including my, my future now husband um, gathered and they wanted this idea of a subscriber owned cable system to happen and um, from those unlikely beginnings uh, in fact it did happen and, and Cable Co-op got the cable franchise in 1985 and um, you know sold it for millions of dollars in the end to you know a larger company but it we were a, a pretty revolutionary um, cable company in the sense that we tested uh, data transmission which everyone takes for granted now uh, data over cable and we were the first people to connect a school for to cable and we were subscriber owned so anyway it was really fun and quite remarkable to from that little meeting room in the grocery store to you know what what became of it and what we all watch our MTV on today I'm Lisa Van Dusen and that's my Palo Alto story and I met my husband that way